it's really about you know our long-term relationship with the land okay let's see if we're ready here in the fall we'll take fresh cow manure and put that into cow horns and bury them underground and that's where they'll stay and rest until this time in the spring. So that looks uh, pretty good, huh? Completely composted. And inside everything is dry. It's no, doesn't look like manure anymore. It looks like uh, completely composted. Smells great. Right? This is what we use to make uh, preparation of compost tea that will spray on the vineyard floors. And that's a soil activator, it goes out in very, very small, sort of homeopathic uh, quantities. Something like a quarter cup of, of this compost in a tea will cover an acre. At home, we like to eat organic food. You know, we would like our water to be clean. We would like our food to be clean. We would like our food to be healthy. We would like to know that it's being done in a way that's not causing harm to anybody else by producing the food. So to come to work and be able to do the same practices is really a privilege. Those yellow ones are called taxi because they look like a yellow cab. <laughs> the booth is not only have we been here for, I think this is our 23rd year uh, since the children were first coming, but it's a real statement that we um, um, are strong believers in diversity. There's too much monoculture around in the valley and um, grapes are good and important, but I think we can all thrive with some diversity. Being a, a, a diverse uh, producer of, of all things, uh, from you know grapes to wine to olives to olive oil uh, to grass to beef, uh, you know, and, and uh, then produce and you know we have chickens for eggs. And here in the vineyards, we also do spring uh, grazing of uh, lambs. And uh, I'm probably forgetting something. I guess bees and honey is another good thing. But you know, you got you, you, you need to eat it. So let's. Uh, <laughs> Let's take it from the farm and put it on the table.